What's going on everyone? This is Kunal and in this video I'm going to talk about decentralized computing and its comparison to the current centralized cloud computing systems that we have and I'm going to talk about a project that is directly addressing this issue and that is Golem. So this article on Mondo.com talks about the AWS outage in 2017 the problem with internet centralization and it describes on February 28 of 2017 thousands of websites started suddenly experiencing problems links were broken images weren't loading some websites weren't functioning at all the source of this massive internet outage Amazon web services human error and internet centralization so the four hours the internet went went black well most of it because AWS hosts so many websites across the board it's a, it's a platform as a service and a centralized platform as a service right now and it caused so many websites to go down because they rely on Amazon as a platform for them to uh, have their website be up on the internet and it talks about AWS's 40 percent dominant share and it talks about here how to avoid the next major internet outage and when and when you're talking about this article they may not even be looking forward to what it's happening today so golem is happening today guys golem is sitting here at 26.6 .6 cents at a pop 255 million dollar market cap 20 million dollars of volume a day so it's got a nice adoption level already remember the higher volume uh, coins and tokens right now that are consistently at higher volume if you look at the chart here golem has been consistently uh, doing pretty well here in terms of volume well, there was one spike where it got over a hundred million but it's usually been well over in the multi-millions and, and even more in terms of volume so that's a good note if you're looking for adoption and it's circulating supply of 959 million and the total supply of 1 billion so most of the total supply is already out which is good news so golem on twitter this has 144,000 followers so it's among the top group of cryptocurrency projects on 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 the network uh, on on twitter um you know most of those that have six figures or more uh in one fashion or another consider some you know at least more legitimate than some of the crap coins that are out there definitely so that's something for you to note as well but they describe themselves as computing power shared rent your gpu slash cpu slash gpus get paid in cryptocurrency and the argument that I would make or one would make for computing power in today's stage is like you have cryptocurrency miners right in proof of work stage but what happens when proof of work coins and that paradigm goes out and gets replaced by stuff like proof of stake or delegated proof of stake or some of the other um, algorithms and some of the other proof of verification methods that exist or are coming and the point being is okay so all of these those guys that have their hardware have their old you know um, miners or whatever processing power idle processing power what do you do with that and you can turn it into something that can be used for a decentralized computing system as golem is trying to do so let's take a look at the golem website here right so golem is a global open sourced decentralized supercomputer that anyone can access it is made up of the combined power of users machines from PCs to entire data centers and Golem is capable of computing a wide variety of tasks from CGI rendering so you know the, those uh, generated graphics that you see in movies and stuff through machine learning to scientific computing Golem's limitations are only defined by our developers community creativity and finally Golem creates a decentralized sharing economy of computing power and supply software developers with a flexible reliable uh, and cheap source of computing power. So this is how Golem described themselves on their website, right? Golem is a marketplace to empower users, Ethereum-based transaction system, and developers in the center of Golem's ecosystem. And you'll see why developers is pretty important. So they go into more detail describing Golem and its importance in, in as we move towards the future decentralized economy. And you guys can check that out too, of course, on golem.network. And here's an argument to make for the decentralization of cloud storage. So today in our centralized cloud, all of your internet devices 
they all of the data that they access or any websites that they visit is stored on a centralized servers on the cloud meaning they're stored somewhere out where everyone has access to it on the public internet or could be even private you know inter uh, internet connections vpns things like that most of these store services are centralized and on the cloud all nodes connected to the cloud nodes send raw data to the cloud nodes communicate through the cloud nodes do not share resources or collaborate and fix hierarchy and here's the other part nodes communicate through the cloud so if this car let's say you have a smart car in the future or you have a, a tablet right now laptop right now uh, you know a game console they in order for one of these to talk to another on that on a network they have to go through the cloud so that creates a problem where it's where it's centralized point of failure and just centralization causes creates a power monopolistic dynamic to it as well so there's many different issues and then tomorrow extending the cloud to devices where it's more decentralized nodes can operate without cloud nodes can process data locally nodes can communicate directly nodes can share resources and collaborate and then you have dynamic hierarchy so this you know smart car can talk to this you know tablet or this game console without having to go through a centralized server they can just directly communicate you know uh, whenever they want to without the need of a trusted third party or centralized party so this article really quick it talks about on medium talks about a vision for decentralized computing and talks about what would decentralized computing look like and the key points are physical keys for digital life so in the real world we have physical keys that limit access to our belongings like houses cars or bank lockers so we'll see physical hardware based access control for almost everything in the digital world a physical key that has the authentication credentials for your email bank account digital tokens etc and in security as a first class concern in the early days of computing it was enough for software to just barely work early adopters were put up with almost anything but now um Things should just work and the cloud model is great for that but is that secure and people are going to start saying okay we got to find a way for the hacks to stop and we move to a decentralized model so the best of both worlds uh, there are pros and cons of decentralized and centralized versions of apps and chat is just one example i believe that decentralized computing give us the best of both worlds the convenience and reliability of apps like slack and the openness and freedomness of protocols like irc and standardization breaking down artificial boundaries so this is an important one right here that i wanted to discuss today if you want to innovate on top of say facebook data you need to be an engineer at facebook or have a close business relationship with facebook so what they're saying is that with decentralized computing such artificial boundaries will start disappearing like what they're saying is facebook has almost a monopolistic um you know control of uh, you know the service that they provide which is you know a, a social media platform where you can link events and and post uh you know what's going on and things like that and news as well and because it has this such great you know presence on on the internet you know the fact that it's closed source is is you know leading to a situation where it, there's no real community for facebook it's kind of a top down approach versus if you have decentralized computing and decentralized websites and all of that and you have open source you know a global workforce might be able to contribute to and benefit from a decentralized common infrastructure of protocols and apps imagine bounties that are requests for features or even requests for startups so having open source is better so again he explains closed source considered harmful open source software goes hand in hand with decentralized computing and this is the key point users in a decentralized computing world cannot trust any remote server and unverified software it's completely possible to look back at these crazy days when we used to run closed source code on our personal devices how can you trust code that can't be audited? In decentralized computing, closed source code might be this untrusted thing that gets the same treatment as malware. So that obviously ties into the security thing as well. So then this article right here on knuckle.com talks about the upcoming decentralized cloud, decentralized platform as a service, and decentralized storage as a service. And it explains, you know, the traditional model, you know, CPU plus database plus storage local internet data center it talks about cloud servers and then f like we described and then finally the dApp model uh, crypto monetization token mechanics and monetization through cryptocurrencies in as the vessel and the medium of, of exchange and value on the internet and it's that's what's called the internet of value and you have decentralized organizations dao as well where kind of like you have corporations that you know are decentralized we all we all know we can definitely use that when you have corporations that have monopolistic tendencies or you know certain corporations that want to you know 
uh, you know, control politicians and things like that. And then you have decentralized cloud platforms, which we've discussed. And the future miners will be many data centers in the decentralized cloud. So the reason is he believes that miners today lose huge competing resources in a very inefficient way to calculate hashes in the POW consensus algorithms driven by large mining pools. They are many data centers, highly specialized in hash calculations. What if the miners turn into many data centers for app hosting? So this provides a, like I described earlier, a replacement to the proof of work. Because once proof of work paradigm ends, these um, people with uh, physical hardware are going to need something to do. They're going to need an incentive. And these kind of solutions can provide incentives for that. So finally, last but not least, we got to take a look at the roadmap, right? And see how much is done, at, you know, as of, you know, March of this year. But we want to take a look at this year's full roadmap to give you guys a perspective. And you can make your own decision on. Uh, what you think Golem is capable of and what it has done and what it will continue to do. So distributing co distributed computing on the blockchain. And the point by IOTA founder David Sunstevo, if I could pronounce that, I'll just call him David. Uh, as Internet of Things grows, the need for distributed computing becomes an absolute necessity, said IOTA founder. And Golem's ecosystem, we, dis we talked about that earlier. And Golem's key 2017 accomplishment was the opening of a public GitHub repository and uh, it, it, the plans to partner with Friend Software Corporation and other things. But here's how the board looks right now. And if you can see here, testnet for Blender users, most of this is almost done or pretty much done. Uh, then beta on mainnet. So you can see over here what their plan is, what their full plan is to get the beta on mainnet and then beta with with content or consent uh, you can see the full list of things they got to do here mainnet with consent you got to see what, what they got to do here and then what else is left to do for them and this is how their uh, roadmap looks right now and what they have to do and of course you can get this information from uh, invest in blockchain.com slash goal in 2018 which I will link for you below so hope you guys got an understanding of why we need decentralized cloud computing and why Golem is primarily positioned to take advantage of that. And if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please do like and subscribe. Um, we always have the latest news, as you can see on our website at altcoinbuzz.io. Binance is one step closer to making crypto adopted. And of course, we put out the video earlier about they're buying the trust wallet or have acquired the trust wallet, which is making it one step closer to making crypto adopted. And uh, you know, many people have controversy over, you know, centralized exchanges or not, but in, you know, a lot of centralized exchanges have open decentralized versions. Look at Hadobe, look at Huobi Hadax as an example of centralized exchanges that maybe see a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the, the winds, which direction the wind is blowing, and maybe they take it, take the first step now to open up decentralized exchanges. But nevertheless, centralized exchanges definitely play a huge role. In cryptocurrency and uh, for the foreseeable future they will continue to uh, CZ from Binance knows what he's doing you know the funds are always been safe -o. so you gotta you gotta um, take that into consideration as well and uh, of course you want to follow Allcoin buzz and you can follow us on Twitter where we have 76.9 thousand followers at Allcoin buzz IO um, you can also follow Allcoin buzz ladies at a buzz underscore ladies over here where they have over 3300 followers and last but not least please do like this video and if you like to see more content from us please do subscribe to our channel where we have 209,000 followers so thank you very much guys and have a great day